Welcome to the Love Them Knives channel. Love Them Knives, LTK here. <sighs> we got us a hunting knife. Well, I mean, that's what they're saying, at least. It's a hunting knife. The Crooked River. Orange G10 backspacer. Got a lanyard on there. I think Frank was trying to pick that off and decided, shit, he wasn't going to get it off. I, don't, I just thought I'd leave it on there. Frank is a friend of mine who lives up near the Great Lakes in the western side of uh, New York State and sent me this knife. Actually, he sent me two knives. I'm going to talk about the other knife he sent me uh, later. It was also a Benchmade. In any case, in any who, this one I got to actually send back to him. The other one, he's letting me keep. So it's like, phew, yeah, that's all right. Any case, Crooked River, G10, aluminum, anodized aluminum bolsters. Let me see, what have you done with this knife, Frank? You got a little knit there. It's... Yeah, it's all right. It definitely, you can see somebody's been kind of carrying it around. Doing this or that with it. In any case, I kind of like the lanyard anyhow. You know, as a hunting knife, probably doesn't hurt to have a lanyard on there. And whoever s wove that one up, I I have forgotten how to do these square weaves. But I've got the I've got all the stuff. I've done paracord, you know, lanyards, bracelets, things like that before. So one of these days, I'll pull it back out and do some stuff. Except I've kind of moved away from lanyards now. So pocket clip. You got the split one that Benchmade makes. They have several different styles. And uh, three screws. It'll hold her down. Over here, yeah, you can go left hand. So left or right hand, tip up carry. Big knife. Four inch blade. CPM S30V. Okay. And oh yeah, you got this little anodized aluminum anodized uh, pivot ring. So, does it really match the orange there? No, not really, but, I, you know, come on. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> I can live with that. <sighs> yeah, satin blade. You know, dual thumb studs. Why do I need thumb studs when I've got, you know, yeah, I got the access lock. So, this is so cool. You know what I like about this is that uh, it's like a buck knife right it looks like the clip blade the whole thing you know buck knife only with an access lock it's like oh all my dreams have now come true you know because that is so much easier and man that is so nice and easy to open and close wow what a nice uh what a nice setup and i like well here's where it says like s30v benchmade.com patent you got dark uh, hardware screws in here, which that's fine with that gray, I think. It, it goes well uh, with that. But yeah, it looks like a pretty tough use knife. Comes in. Aha! Hey, that wasn't bad. I mean, they're like 200 bucks. You know what I mean? Blade HQ. 195 50 There you go. Crooked River, Axis Lock, 4-inch that, and blah, blah, blah. There's the model number. <clears throat> 9.3 inches overall, 4-inch blade. I mean, that's whew, that's some stuff. Clip, point, satin, plain, you know. Handle thickness, pretty pretty thick on that, too. Gray, CPM, there you go. Hunt series. Big chores. And anodized aluminum. Add G10 and... There's the rest of your stuff. 5.4 ounces. That'll be interesting to note if that's the case. Because that's pretty carryable, actually. Uh, USA. Oh, I was going to show you something. Oh, this guy's like, yeah, I love it. In any case. And he's, he's mentioning, like, modern buck 110 really kind of done right. And I, I agree on that. See, you can get it in this wood as well. I'm not sure with the wood and then that orange backspacer. That's 
I don't know. Maybe they should have done like a gray backspacer or maybe an aluminum gray backspacer. Just, I don't know. It's just a little weird um, when you put the orange backspacer on a wooden handled knife. Let's see what's in here. See, and you get the paperwork and you get the pouch, which he's kept together, which is very nice. I always like to keep my stuff together too if I can. Oh, speaking about Buck, you mean like Buck? Check this out. Okay, so you want to know how I got started in loving them knives, huh? Well, dude, the 110. And you're saying, man, that looks that looks like it's been around. <clears throat> it's been around damn near since John Fitzgerald Kennedy was alive. That's a long time, isn't it? Yeah, I remember standing next to my dad when he was in the sporting goods store in a little town in the Nebraska Sand Hills area, out in the middle part of the state, and this was all the rage because it was uh, high carbon steel, and you know they had the little countertop display shows the knife cutting through the nail. You know how tough the buck uh, high carbon steel is. I need to buff this up. I gotta polish this brass up, but. Uh, I mean, it's not bad considering it's, I mean, you know, pretty good. Pretty good operating condition. Oh, I got to put this on the KME so bad. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a butter knife. But, you know, I don't, I'm not carrying this and using it. It's like a little bit sentimental, right? I mean, my dad died, I don't know, 14 years ago. So, you know, probably hand this down to my son. And that's cool, you know. I so this reminds me of that Buck 110. Only it's got more of a blade to it. The one I've got is like, what is that? <laughs> uh oh, somebody got that on a grinder back in the day. Oh God. In any case, it's been through a lot. <sighs> I was really young then, and I was like, that is so cool. Couldn't believe my dad would buy that knife. It's like. It couldn't have been cheap, and we didn't have money for nothing. I mean, we were just, we had groceries and, you know, utility money. That's about it. Cool knife. Big knife. Let's check it out. Yeah. I should have put, I'm going to put it side by side with a buck here in a minute. Um, okay, so, yeah, they're saying a four-inch blade, and if you lay it down like that, yeah, you're a four-inch blade. 9.3 overall. No. That's negative. Did I move my thing? Did they, they say 9.3? Eh, okay, I guess if you go up to the top where we can't see it because it's bundled up with the... Yeah, okay. I mean, we can, we can give it to you. Give it to you, all right. And how fat an old handle is this? There you go, six tenths of an inch, right? Fifteen point four. Um. Oh, let's check this too. Yeah. Okay. So three point one, three point two millimeters. So quarter inch. Probably one two five. If we actually, this one is a little bit more. You know, this will go out all the all the strata here. Yeah. Three point two, and then you go down. Eighth inch. I keep saying quarter inch all the time. Actually, I got it right this time. I said eighth inch. So, big knife, right? Big knife. So, look at the Manix. <laughs> it's, God, you're going to wear that Manix out, LTK. So, there it is. Compared to the Manix, the Manix is a little girl knife. This is a big knife. And it is a big knife. Heavier than this. I just, I had this in my pocket last night. We went down to the Harley dealership. They were having a bike night and a fundraiser and bands and stuff. And I'm wearing shorts and it's like 106 degrees when we got there. I'm going hell. So that was in my pocket. This is so light, so easy to carry. It's, <sighs> are we going to talk about this knife? Yeah, we are. Crooked River. What does it weigh? 5.4. We're 
we'll find out. <laughs> With the lanyard, who knows, right? Maybe we need to support the lanyard a little bit. 5.7, lift it. No? It's whatever. Might be a little off because of the lanyard, but that's okay. Oh, you want to go to grams? 5.6. So 159 grams. So you know, well, now it's 160. Pretty cool. It's really easy to function this way. Like I was saying, here, hold on, let me get old Yeller out. <laughs> oh, this needs buffed up. I mean, I took it to a gun and knife show uh, because uh, those guys have those buffing wheels and said, I need to get a buff or two. You know, I'd really like to get, you know, where you can put the, the compound on it and you can buff things up and maybe even, you know, polish up knife blades if you want, you know, clean them up, the grind a little bit and kind of make them your style if you want. This one needs some help. Look at the marks. In any case, I'm, I digress. So there's my buck. Whew. Yeah, it's not far off, is it? Shit fire. I didn't know that buck was that big. Really? How big is that buck? Well, it's about three and seven eighths. What's it overall? It ain't nine inches even. It's eight and five eighths. So, no. No, not near as big. Not near as big as that dog. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the rest of the blade? I don't know. That really looks... I don't know if my my pappy, you know, uh, worked away at it, and over time, it that blade just came down, or if that blade was actually fairly slender like that to begin with. You guys might want to pipe in on that if you know anything about old buck knives. But you know what? Still nice. Although, I mean, is it centered? Yeah, pretty much. What can I say? Good luck taking this one apart, right? You see any screws in here? Yeah, Daddy. I don't know. <clears throat> In any case, what a wonderful knife. Yeah, this one. I like it. I mean, you got these uh, steel liners, and they look like they've skeletonized them in there. So check that out. Upper and lower. So that's why you're getting a little lower weight on such a knife that's such a big dog than this. I, I like it, though. I mean... uh I like bigger knives in any case, and you get a pocket clip, which you don't get in the old world, do you? There wasn't nothing. Oh, baby, this is heavy. I wonder what this weighs. Okay, just indulge me. Eh, 5.8, about the same, but it's a smaller knife. Okay, just curious there for a minute. But yeah, I mean, it's a handful. Feels good in the hand. Really, the clip doesn't provide any hot spot or anything. Doesn't really bother me if we can get the tail out of the way here reverse grip oh, that's pretty good too well it's a big old handle though isn't it wow lots of extra room there lots of extra room but you got the you got a sharpening choil here so hey what can i say i mean this is uh this is good i like this bench made I mean, the design just looks so buck to me as well. I mean, that that guy, that viewer or that guy that commented on Blade HQ, he was he was right. It is. It's it's very buck knife looking. But you know what? Maybe it's a design that uh, that just works. Just plain old works. Be work. You can uh, be a skinner, and you know you've got plenty of piercing capability up here. You got a lot of material back up on here. So yeah, can't go really, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to, you could a little bit, you know, because you've got an area in here where it's not sharp until it kind of gets down here, but nah, probably not. Could if you wanted to that bad. And you got, you know, some jimping up in here. And you can see your stop pin. All right, yeah, hey, Crooked River. Yeah, I'm, you know, I like, if I was going to get one, I think I'd get the gray G10 uh, instead of the wooden one. Um, 
you know, I, I like wood. It's, it's attractive and everything. I just, you know, I've had, well, <laughs> you know, the thing is, if you drop a knife or this or that, you can put a permanent, you know, dent or ding in the wood scales where, and they can get kind of chewed up over time where, you know, this G10 is really tough stuff. Doesn't show the wear is bad and very resilient to like chemicals and things like that. And that's important too. So as far as I'm concerned, yeah, the G10, especially on a working knife, don't need the wood. But, you know, if you wanted it for, you know, because it was going to be a knife in your collection just for attractive whatever and you're attracted to that, that's fine, you know. But, yeah, as, as if I was going to get one, yeah, this would be the one. This one's going to go back to Frankie. But thanks for loaning it to me. Cool knife. You know what? We love them knives. Stay sharp.